surrounded by simple, obvious solutions that can dramatically increase our income, power, influence, and success. The problem is the key to see them, and we are here to help you achieve this vision. Greetings to everyone present here. I'm Navalya Puri, and I would like, like to welcome you all to the orientation of the Consulting Club. As you all know, and to those who are new to the concept of consulting, and wish to know more about it as a choice of career, consulting is the practice of creating value for companies and organizations with respect to devising solutions for the problems they face and providing them with practical advice. We at TCC have the vision to instill the consulting culture at Dalton College while working with organizations and assisting them with real-time problems. Up until now, we have worked on projects ranging from short time contestant Scrap Shara to Pyramid Foundation, whose details will be revealed to you further in this presentation. Without any further delays, let's check how good of a consulting you guys make. As you can see on uh, the slide, there are three situations present. The first one being assisting Tesla to enter the Indian market. The second situation being advising your friend a possible course of action while they are experiencing a rough patch in their personal lives. And the third situation being suggesting your dad to prime the greener alternative in the factory which will support individuals. So let me ask you guys, which of the situation represents the idea of consulting? Anyone can raise their hands and go ahead. You guys can speak up a bit louder. Okay. Any more answers? First and third. Anyone from the side? So everyone agrees with the first situation, right? Well, let me tell you that all these situations portray the idea of consulting and kudos to all those who obviously get it. From advising Tesla to advising your dad and helping your friend, all these situations okay. make you a consultant and I can tell that all of you are already on the way to become a consultant. To dive into the practical definition of consulting, consulting means analyzing the situation and problems faced by your clients and coming up with solutions to overcome those problems and enhance their performance. The skills of a consultant range from dedication and self-motivation to possessing creativity, having organization skills, being a problem solver, having listening, verbal communication, and interpersonal skills, whereas also possessing presentation skills and time management. As you can see the screen, um, we have the big three, that's McKenzie, Bain, and Boston, whereas we have the big four, that's KPMG, Deloitte, PwC, and EY. Um, I'm guessing many of you already are aiming for such companies, and I would be delighted to share that some of our ex TCC members and the seniors that we have here today are already either working towards this, their goal or have shared their experience in working in either through an internship or other such reasons. I'm guessing that um, since all of you are touting this uh, companies, that TCC would be the right place for all of you, since we not only help you in developing these skills, but we organize different sessions, competitions, and we have different mentors, which will be explained by my further uh, members in this session, who will guide you through this process, whereas you would also be working with real-time clients to solve the problem so that you can get the idea of what consulting as a career is basically, meanwhile being a college student. The average salary chart is also present in the slide, which you can achieve by getting a good amount of experience. And um, obviously, these skills are not something that you can build from you know, strategically growing our skills, basically. You will need to build a solid foundation, and after that, we would be helping you with such. Moving on with the orientation, I would like to ask Kaksha to come to the board. <laughs> Thank 
prime objective of the consulting club is to spread consulting culture and make members and students more industry aware by imbibing practical industrial knowledge. Our scope and encompasses our vision to grow and thrive to be competitive, driving the club and the students towards excellence. Mentoring is a brain to pick, an ear to listen, and a push in the right direction. Till now, we have onboarded two mentors. Mr. Tushar Pathak, currently employed with KPMG as a consultant. His expertise is in the field of internal audit, financial services, and corporate strategy. With more than six years of experience, he has worked with EY and furthermore. Mr. Abhijit, a management consultant at Beams and Company, India offices, with experience across e-commerce, private equity, pharmaceuticals, consumer products, and technology. Till date, we have successfully worked on the following projects. First, Scrap Shark, a company which presented their pitch on Shark Tank India with the aim of selling sustainable and eco-friendly products at an affordable cost. The club has mentored Scrap Shark's social and media amplification, as well as connecting with various Delhi university events and societies and providing them with relevant data. Second, Mr. Mustafa's Cake which is a Gurgaon-based cloud kitchen, has benefited from the club's assistance as we aided them to expand their customer base and marketing opportunities. It aided in the development of a stronger client relationship. Third, Piramal Foundation. The first project of the club was with the social arm of Piramal Group, wherein the club helped them in the project Dada Dadi and Nana Nani campaign. The project was targeted in five districts of India, sensitizing about the COVID-19 vaccine and its importance, while simultaneously helping the most hit section of the society, that is the people above the age of 60. Fourth, feeding from farms, which aimed at providing over two lakh meals a week, but assisted in placing farms and beneficiary tracking. As part of the club's COVID initiative, we worked with feeding from farms to serve their purpose and help them to achieve their targets. Sangam Labs, our team worked with them for two months and it assisted them in a variety of areas, including marketing, lab promotion, and contact with the app developers. It has been an eye-opening experience. The team has a broad understanding of various capabilities, managerial skills, and so on. Cars. The club's main role was to assist them in reaching their target audience and increasing website traffic, as well as to provide them with relevant research documents and service. These are the real-time experience we have worked on. Now I'd like to pass the to Satya. Thank you. Thank you, Aksha. Now I would okay. Now I would like to share you with the functioning of different departments of the club. ECC has various department departments in different domains. Our club gave a great opportunity to have experience in all of them. So starting with partnership department. The work of partnership is basically to upskill the team in any way possible. This is done by conducting skill building sessions in collaboration with experts and mentors. Partnership as program of work invites as many new ideas as possible for the development of TCC. By being in partnership department, you will be developing connections with industry professionals and learning how to interact with people. Next, we have research department. The research department is largely concerned with analyzing emerging trends across many industries and creating relevant reports, blogs, and newsletters. Continually, doing research on new subjects keep you aware and updated, including the learning how to plan data and various other organizational skills. Keeping in mind the principle of planning and organizing. Next, we have finance department. As for the name finance, the finance department has worked to manage the finances of the club. In this department, we generate revenue through different sources like review, uh, reviewing campaign, earning from projects by conducting webinars and sponsorships and many other sources. Next, we have digital and outreach department. In this department, we do content visualization, brainstorming tasks uh, to focus on coming up with ideas for posting on social media. The members of digital and outreach department brainstorm and come up with consultancy based ideation that interests our viewers. Next, we have tech department. Tech design how TCC looks to the world. Tech execute what digital and outreach ideate. So the tech department has members who are well familiar with the editing software like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, and Illustrator. At last, we have editorial department. In 
Editorial department we perform content curating and deadline oriented tasks which focus on collaborating with other departments of the club. The editorial department has members which generate articles, captions and needed information for the working of the club and promoting consulting by exploring the domain. So these are all the departments that our club have. Now I would like to call Mr. Karthik for explaining for us. Now to our annual flagship event conferences. The annual event of the consulting club delves for unfurling the characteristics here and fostering the expansion of horizons of the students through its string of competitions. These competitions will require the participants to scratch their brains to emerge out victorious after umpteen challenges. The event will enmark an unparalleled opportunity to unleash the knowledge and perceptiveness of participants and simultaneously enlightening and nurturing the copious facets of consulting world. Now onto our timeline of events over one year. Annual consulting event, a one day for inter-college event with a variety of events ranging from panel discussions to case competition. Regular interactive case studies as well as CV workshops to focus on employability. It could include profitability, market entry, guesstimates, etc. Info sessions on various areas of consulting, including strategy, financial, technology, social impact, HR, etc. Commercial acumen, skill building sessions and networking, sessions on effective communication, commercial awareness, skill enhancement through our mentors. Consulting projects for businesses and startups, where students would get practical insights and hands-on experience working on real business issues. Now on to our recruitment process. There are three phases of our recruitment process. The first would be the recruitment form, which will comprise of general questions. Strength, for example, strengths, weaknesses, your skills and abilities. Your advancement to the next round will be based on the responses in the form. This will be a preliminary round. Next up would be round one. The selected applicants will be divided into groups to discuss topics related to business and consultancy work. Your discussion and opinions on these topics will be subject to your selection to the next round. The final round would comprise of personal interview. The questions would be based on responses in your forms in the recruitment form itself. Your abilities will be tested by general case studies, your ability to crack them, along with questions regarding your departmental preference. Now I would like to hand over the podium to Aditi. So at this year's teacher convener are Lieutenant Dr. Ruchi Gupta and Dr. Sanjay Kumar. They are both from our eco department. Now let's move on to our official meets. As TCC's core work is consulting, so we frequently have meetings with our clients. These clients mostly entail of top executives from startups and NGOs. They can be CEOs, CFOs, or any other executive. Official meets main purpose is to get everyone in the room to discuss and ponder over an issue and come up with a unique solution. These meets help everyone to hone their communication and presentation skills. These meetings provide exposure to how the corporate world works. Now I would like to call Ishita on the stage. So guys, um, as we know, our uh, I guess that's enough about your official part. Now let's turn to the unofficial part. Professional bonds are necessary, but the unofficial meetups are equally important. Believing in building a team that feels like a family, TCC has been active unofficially as well. As a part of club's activities, we conduct unofficial meetups after the official ones. We organize parties time to time and have been to a trip in, in May this month. This way we ensure that the, build, uh, that the bonds build last longer. Thank you. So guys, before moving forward, I would like to make an announcement that today from 4 to 5.30, we are having a guesstimate session in collaboration with uh, Inside IAM. And we have a speaker from BCG that is Boston Consulting Group. 
which is one of the top three consulting firms in the world. Mm -hmm. And his name is Akshay Kumar Sinsadewala. You can check him on LinkedIn. He has a very good profile and uh, the session will be really great. So if you guys are really interested, then you can register for the session and the QR codes are there. So it will lead you to the link tree. Then you will get the forms there for the registration. So if you are interested, you can scan that QR code. Now, moving forward with the session, I would like to call our president, the backbone of our society, to give his speech. Thank you, Aditi. So, hi everyone. First of all, congratulations, congratulations on starting uh, with your college and uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm pretty sure that none of us here had Dial Singh as one of their dream colleges, but uh, no problem. Uh, if it's not the best, it's one of the best. And the consulting love, it's the best. No, no exaggeration. Yeah, because, uh, uh, since 2020, uh, we have worked on 12 projects and some of them were many. It's the best uh, consulting, our consulting society is the best you serve it. So when I used to hear patients, this is uh, slaying uh, uh, and wearing suits like how I am, I am slaying uh, <laughs> the, the, the suit today. And most importantly, the very concept, uh, the very underlying concept of this job, advising someone. Samne wala humse, humari wala maari wala, because experts hai. So, uh, 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 I used to explore on YouTube what societies I can join when I joined DU. And uh, that's when I decided that there is uh, a consulting society. And I would be very happy to be a part of this. And uh, um, when I joined, when I was in college, I was the last to talk about it. And then I was in that time president. Um, and he said, yeah, sure. And he took my interview and uh, he asked me what are the names of the consulting firms and I started listing names of the, names of the investment banks. Um, that was really stupid. <laughs> but uh, what are investment banks? That, that is a topic for some other day. But now um, I joined Consulting Society. I'm very grateful to him. Um, uh, and uh, here I am now. And what I would like to suggest to you all that please um, uh, uh, discover your areas of interest. You would see many of your friends and many of your acquaintances in this college joining, aiming to join six to six to seven cool sounding uh, cool sounding societies. But uh, you need to understand what your interest is. Not don't follow the herd and uh, follow what you want. And uh, if uh, consulting is one of your interests, we will be waiting you at the interview tables. I am Ekan Saragi, the president of this consulting club for this session, and thank you for listening. I would like to call our general advisor, Sadhak, to come on stage and share his story. Good morning, everyone. So good to see you, these new faces in our college. Make sure you guys enjoy these four years of your college life. When I first came to the college, I had no idea what I was going to do. I just wanted to have fun. I don't know what, but I applied to a few societies and consulting was one of them. After the first meeting, I was pretty sure there is where I want to work because I remember the first meeting was something which was related to Christmas Eve. I decided that I'm going to work here and when I started working on a few projects, I started taking interest in the club activities and like ultimately I fell in love with the club. I had the opportunity to work with Scrap Shala who has featured on the Shark Tank India. We met the founders, overall it has been a great journey so far and with you guys here I hope we will take the club even further. All the work I did here at the club activities and these projects also helped me land a very good internship at Flipkart. For which I would like to again thank my acquaintances and my friends who helped me throughout these projects. And it's because of these experience only that I was able to work with Flipkart. 
this is all professional but a kind of personal relationship that i have built with this something which i will treasure for my entire life the club has given me comfort and a homey feeling while staying away from home the people here are the best i think that's why we don't call it just a club but a family i think that something keeps me motivated and also helps me to deliver my best the recruitment process going to be regressing but i can assure you guys that the ones who will be selected are going to grow professionally and you going to be in the club that will believes in the working hard and partying higher harder what what we do think you guys saw the same in the presentation as well i hope you going to put your best foot forward while we while filling out the forms and hoping to work with you all very soon and all the best for your college journey thank you I would like to call upon Sir Aditya Mehrotra to share his experience about his official meeting. Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Okay. So, looking back at one year ago when I joined the consulting club, I was not who I am right now. The platform the consulting club has provided me. i would say is one of the greatest you can get in the alton college i mean the client meetings we have been through the research work we have done in the past one year has changed me a lot so when i say this please believe me that the platform this consulting club is going to provide you is not like any other society we review so please take this opportunity and make the most out of it because one of you sitting here may be the president tomorrow or one of the person working in the big three consulting firms so all the best to all of you and best of luck for your for his life ahead thank you uh thank you everyone for being so patient uh, during this orientation Uh, I would be glad to announce that we have our former president, uh, Mr. Manavola, and the founding president, Mr. Kitesh Basimuras. Round of applause. Uh, moving on, uh, since it's getting a bit one-sided, uh, and since you all are interested in consulting, I have a small case study for you that I would like to ask for you. So please bear with me. um so i'm hoping all of you obviously have a netflix account or know how privacy issues are there so basically those who don't know netflix is an american subscription streaming service and production company it has been observed that netflix is not able to protect the privacy of the content they produce in india most of the web series of netflix are freely available on the internet the indian market is price sensitive if the content is freely available however which is legal as we all know then why pay for it This is the common mentality of all of us. So, what would you do to recommend to Netflix to increase its customer base in Indian markets if you are a consultant? We can start from here. Okay. Monthly subscription prices come for this. Okay. The price sensitive market target for that. Okay. Netflix will increase. Oh no! If not Netflix, or if if there is any other streaming service, Amazon Prime or the the Hotstar or the so uh, basically problem is, जो भी content they make, uh, there are many different illegal websites. शायद तो वो obviously available होता. So what would you recommend as a consultant, Netflix को या किसी भी ऐसी website को, so that they can increase the customer base without um as a illegal way. ताकि people basically don't divert to other illegal websites. Share that password with me. 
only on third device it can start. Ha, Netflix has that feature. Like if there is already one person has taken a one device ka plan, so uh, if someone else logs in, to ek jagah pause ho jata. Yeah, that's a good point. This would be a super basic plan uh, in which uh, uh, Netflix should use ads, like uh, YouTube uses ads, Netflix could also use ads, but it, people should pay less for it. Like Amazon Prime. Yes. Amazon Prime has this feature, right? Yeah. 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 Anyone else from that row would like to ask? No one? From this side? Yeah, go ahead. Aditi? That's a great point because if we see, so there is not a regional content available Amazon Prime and Hot Stuff. Is. This is Disney Hotstar has even bring Marvel ki puri franchise to their um, platform so that you can easily stream. So that's a good point. Netflix could do that. Anyone else from that row? Yeah, go ahead. So um, I'm assuming everyone uses Instagram. So you could also share the fact in Insta. Uh, Netflix actually has a memes share. Kar if you can see reels, uh, different apne hi, uh, shows ko, uh, basically market for different shows. They promote different soundtracks. Kar de, so that if anyone doesn't know about the show, ke baad mein, they can easily uh, check on their captions. Pe. So again, uh, popularity and marketing. Great point, guys. Great work. I can already see you excelling in our interviews. Uh, Aditi, if you could carry on. Thank you, Rania. Today we have with us the person who founded this club two years ago, who is behind how it all started and who left us a wonderful legacy to follow. It is this idea of bringing consulting culture to the college that led to the formation of this club. I request Jitesh Bhatti, our founding president, to come on stage and Ikan to present token of gratitude. Hi everyone, I welcome you all to the orientation today. A uh, bit background about myself, uh, I have been a part of the college for the batch of 21, 2018 to 21 and currently I am working with Equity Knowledge Partners as an analyst. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure for all of you to be attending the orientation that we uh, for the club that we founded in 2020 and I think the whole team would have given you the the whole team would have given you the uh, overview of what the club does, what all activities that we have done in the previous two years, and what all projects that we have undertaken. Coming from my experience, I know most of you would be having one doubt, like just stepping into college, that why is it like necessary to join a society, or maybe you would have attended various orientations from the commerce society, finance society. A lot of you would be wondering, like, uh, should we join a club or should we not join a club? Is it uh, actually necessary to join a club or not? So I would like to answer that question and like I'll break it into just three pointers. How joining any club, not just consulting club, any club or a society can help you in like your career trajectory. So uh, the key three things that I would like to divide it into would be one professional development. Joining a club actually helps you in the professional development. Like once you are uh, joining any job or if you are doing any starting up anything, working in a startup, there are like 
two or three basic soft skills that are required, which is one would be the timeliness and deadline orientation. Second is the ability to work in teams. And third is uh, communication, how you're able to communicate your thoughts, uh, not just in a group of two, three people, but in a wider group of say 30, 40 people. So once you're a part of a club, you're working across various engagements, be it consulting projects, be it organizing various events like these, uh, these people have organized this orientation at a wider level. Uh, so you get a knack of uh, doing th things in a deadline oriented manner. Apart from that, once you're working in a team of like we currently have a team of 50 people, yes. uh, approximately 50 people across third year, second year and first year. So you're working with this whole lot of team in just a span of two, three years. This could be working with the whole team or working in segmented teams of like five, six people where you're able to express your ideas, where you're able to express your opinion. So this gives you the ability to work in teams, which you would be utilizing in any part of your career, whatever you're doing, be it you're pursuing a CFA, you're pursuing CA, you're working for an MNC, you're working for a startup. And uh, thirdly is, again, communication. You get to communicate while working, uh, while doing, while anchoring all these events, while organizing these events, you get the ability to communicate. So thus, this helps in professional development. Second would be profile building. So whatever you are doing uh, in your third year, so obviously most of you, I think, would be sitting for placements. So for that, you need a resume. And just in case you're not sitting for placements, you're going for a master's degree, you again need a verbal resume, something to talk about, or a written resume, which is a resume or a CV. So for that, joining a society actually helps you. And you can list whatever you have done. Talk about me. My resume talks about I was a like during my year, I was a senior mentor to the Com so, uh, Commerce Society and I was the founding president to the consulting club. So this has actually helped me network with a lot of people across the industry. Apart from that, whatever interviews that I'm giving, be it for equity or whatever interviews that I've given so far, I get something to talk about, like something that I've done. Whatever interviews you're setting, be it job interviews or master's interview, one question that might necessarily arise in various forms would be, what's the one unique thing that you've done in college apart from academics? You or uh, what's the, uh, apart from academics or uh, uh, focusing on co-curriculars, what have you done? So you should have something to talk about and this forms a key part of the resume. Thus, this helps in profile building. Thirdly, uh, which is the last important thing is networking. Networking, I can break into two parts, which is generally the first part, which any club or any society can provide you that with a network of within the team, like network of your seniors from third year and second year. Once you will be in the second year organizing these events, you would be recruiting the next batch, which would again be a network to you. So you get a network of like 50 to 60 people that would be helping you throughout your life and whatever help you need in case of career or anything. So that's one network which any society can provide. Apart from that, the other network that only the, I believe in the Singh College, only the consulting club is providing as of now, that we have our industry mentors for mentoring across engagements, be it if you are applying for a master's college, if you are uh, sitting for job interviews, if you are uh, taking up, if the team is taking up a project, the mentors are there to guide them. Talking about my batch, we had mentors from, uh, we had a consultant from Boston Consulting Group and we had a consultant from Bain & Company who are doing extremely well in life. And they have actually, in my batch, they have supported students in their ISB applications, YLP applications, master's applications in general, job interviews and a lot of that and a lot of such similar stuff. So it helps you build that network. So I think this would answer your uh, question that most of you would be having and I think the team would have given a detailed overview about why you should specifically join the consulting club or what is in the consulting club that can help you grow in these three years. So yes, with that, I would like to end my part and I hope and it's an absolute pleasure for having you all here and I hope to have you in the interviews and subsequently joining the team and subsequently taking the leadership positions like the people who have been giving the orientation. Thank you. Uh, thank you.
thank you ditesh i think it was really wonderful hearing you uh, now i would like to call our former president manu hora who led the session 2122 and con contributed to the club in more than weeks one to one i could safely say he is one of the diligent alumni of our club i would like to call sarthak and manu both on the stage and sarthak to present the token of gratitude thank you didi and the club for such a warm welcome so uh, i think you guys all must know about the club by now like everyone has told you about what we do and what we have done in the past and exactly like what benefits are you want to reap out if you are, if you get to join the club but i'm not here to talk about all this to be very honest i think i joined the club in like 2 years ago and jitesh took my interview and he gave me the opportunity to uh join the club and then later on i worked on around 10 to 11 projects in my tenure and all of them were a success to be very honest so uh, right now i'm working with a like i i actually joined a new job and i'm joining on monday but prior to this i was working with a hedge fund uh i'm in finance and joining a hedge fund is a very big thing at 21 so uh, to be very honest the club going to help you in a professional manner but to if uh, what i have gained and what i have experienced is something which is beyond which goes beyond the professional boundaries and capacities so uh, if you get to join the club uh, could you guys please play the presentation again the informal part <laughs> yeah. thank you very much <laughs> thank you uh, so yeah i think everyone must have bored you till now to be very honest when i joined like when i was attending my first orientation i was very bored this wasn't the society which i was attending the orientation for but i wasn't actually concerned with what am i going to do with uh, in these next three years like i for a fact know that you guys are very sure that what you are going to do after three years and you are going to tell you oh, you are going to be a networking you are going to do this it's the it's going to help you in the interview process if you are going to go for your masters or your job interviews ultimately it will and i'm pretty sure when you work on 15 projects the interviewer will ask you key what exactly did you do in the college so you will have to uh, like you will have a lot to talk about but ultimately this is what gonna help you these these people here they help me so uh, we went on a trip last year we have had a lot of unofficial meetings and this was all uh, in a uh, pandemic phase right we were attending college to be very honest so i college experience wasn't that good uh, like it could have been much better if the college would have been in an on offline mode but since it was it was in an online mode i think uh the unofficial trips were less the unofficial meets were less but you guys all are here to attend all these unofficial meets you are not here to work 24/7 so i request you all to please enjoy your three years you are here to enjoy and this club is going to present you with all the opportunities to not just work but also enjoy right so uh, i remember the first time we went on an unofficial meet i think this was the very first time that we were meeting and this is here this is me Uh, you all might not recognize me as very big hair at that point. I, uh, Jitesh must remember, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was a very funny meet, and since then we have been on a lot of trips. And like I said, I got a very good farewell last year in April. So uh, your seniors, they are excellent people. They are going to help you with every aspect, be it professional. If you need any assistance with internship, be it uh, if you're struggling with your personal life as well. and this is what this is the culture that we have fostered over the two years i know each one of them each one of them right now are uh, giving like sitting for their interviews they are confused what to do and what not to do which company to go for and we are still there for them 
So that is one of that is something that you are going to get out of this club if you join this, right? I see a very dead audience. I don't know why. You guys should be a little intrigued. Uh, you guys are going to join the consulting club. You're going to be at the front end, right? You're going to be dealing with clients. When you deal with clients, you just don't sit idle. You should have a lot of questions. I don't see anyone asking any questions. When I was sitting for my like in my first orientation, I had a uh, sorry for my language, but fuck load of questions, guys. Come on, <laughs> come on, ask few questions, right? So come, I, I just don't want like you know about me now. I am Madhavan. I'm working with private equity. I'm great in finance. I led the club and seven projects. One of them featured on what Shark Tank, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I have a lot of achievements. I can go on and brag about them, but I don't wish to. I want to answer your questions. Come on, shoot any question right now, and I'll answer it. Be it related to any other society, I know all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guy. I was also a project fair in Actors Gallery College prior to working with the consulting club. And uh, other than that, also I think I have had a lot of drama in my college days. I think after this, if anyone wants to uh, hang out, we can go and talk about that. Not the right place to. So yeah, any questions about anything about the club? And I'm gonna be very honest. Like I, everyone knows that I'm brutally honest. So if you'll say that I don't think the orientation added any value or wasn't any uh, like wasn't good, I'll answer to your question why wasn't it good, and we can discuss about it. So come on, guys. And this might land you an opportunity. I if the, I like someone, they won't be giving the written test. There's a written test, right? Yeah, yeah form. Yeah. A form. Form is there. So yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> this is my promise to you. You will be uh, interviewing and not giving that, filling out that form. If someone asks a very good question right now, no one. Giving a chance to get a golden ticket to final round out. Yes, sir. Direct entry, eliminating all the uh, yes. intermediate rounds. Yes. I see a lot of nervous faces. Come on, you. You wanna get over your nervousness at some point. I think this yeah. is the right time. Yeah, go ahead. Right. I actually had a startup. <laughs> I actually had two startups in my college days. I had. had. Yeah, I, I'm a failed entrepreneur, guys, and that's why I, I went through the job sector. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And I still a dream. And one day you're gonna see me giving a TED talk. So that is something I'm saving for the future, but it's okay. Good question. I had a startup, and actually uh, talking to a lot of uh, like startup founders, I have experienced that everyone in their life have experienced failures, and everyone started with a very very small things. Like I remember, uh, I'm from a business family. And my father owns a business, and uh, since then I want like when someone used to ask people what you want to be in, uh, when you grow up, or what is your exactly. Uh, like what you're gonna do? People say I wanna be an astronaut and everything. So I watched this movie, and I always used to say I wanna be a business tycoon. That was the first thing that I used to say. I don't know how practical it was back then, but I think it is now. I wanna be a business tycoon. I'm talking to a lot of founders right now, and I have a few ideas in the pipeline. So might be, might be a future thing. But I just want to like focus on my job first. I need certain investments, and therefore I'm working. Nine to five, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so if you join the club, you will be, and if you are interested in the startup thing, uh, you are gonna get uh, like you are gonna be exposed to a certain environment where you will be talking and interacting to a lot, a lot of startup founders, right? So that is one thing that this club is gonna give you. Any other questions? That this was again when you had a startup, how you manage the financial activities and uh, what are the Points that you lose during so, startup. Particularly, uh, I did an internship uh, back uh, in 2021 with government of Delhi. So I got a stipend of I think 24,000 rupees. Uh, and uh, this is a friend of mine who is not here right now, but he will be very shortly. So he invested 24,000, I invested 24,000, and we started a brand anti trip. It was a closing back uh, brand. And the overall aim was to uh, like enter the closing market with like at that point thrift stores were getting very popular. Uh, like a lot of teenagers and Gen Z were buying uh, thrift uh, like thrift uh, clothes. 
and there's this Indian mentality, right? That we'll always go for the new clothes rather than the thrift store. Our mother's always like that. They, they, when you buy something from a thrift store, they'll be like, "Hey, bigar hai, yaar. Kisi ka pehna wo kabda le raha hai. Sharam kar." So we wanted to use that mentality to capture the market, and we launched T-shirts with a price very aggressively. I think we were charging three fifty four hundred for one T-shirt, and the T-shirt designs were all made by us. I learned Adobe Illustrator. So when you are a startup founder and you don't have a lot of capital, so you want to learn a lot of skills. So we had to learn marketing. We had to learn Photoshop, Illustrator. We had to find a uh, printer who was printing for us at uh, like the cost uh, which was here. Like the cost which he was charging from us was someone which he like uh, it was basically similar to the cost that he charges a normal wholesaler. But since it was a personal connection, so Uh, we were like yes printing a lot less than a manufacturer or like a wholesaler but he was still charging us the same so that's networking so that's something which club has taught me to be very honest i wasn't very good at networking i don't think three years back i could have been here on the stage like today i'm asking you if you want to ask me any questions but i remember something this was something which a senior did like back three years back I had they not like they have the guts to go on the stage and ask a question, but I think that's a lost opportunity. Three years now, like three years later, I'm also the CEO of the Head Fund directly, and uh, to be very honest, uh, me and given me the confidence to actually stand up. And I'm not prepared, guys. This is I am not prepared, so uh, I couldn't have done this. It's an opportunity for you all to just learn, but also here work with Flipkart. Remember, you guys are assisting you all with everything. Uh, you will call him at one, and he'll be there for you. Thank you. Yeah, he will be. And if he's not, then you. Yeah, yeah. You can call me, and you can say, and you promise that he will be. And then I think I can deal with it, right? <laughs> so yeah, uh, so I think there's a lot of good things. If you join the club, if you get the opportunity to join the club, and the process is not going to be very easy, to be very honest. I remember last year, four and and for a new club, four is a lot because we were working on a lot of projects. We were working on eight, and for um, uh, like all the. He gave me this opportunity. He felt that I was worthy. I wasn't the founding member, but he still gave me the vice president position. And later on, I was promoted to the president position. But it was Gitesh who gave me this opportunity, and I'll always be grateful for that. But when we worked on eight different, I think that was something which created a mark. Uh, this club comes under economic uh, department, and our teachers were very impressed with us. They wanted. Like I'm somebody or I work to be there on their front page. If you still see uh, Economic Association's yearbook, my photo is there on the front. I am not kidding. I never attended a single class. My attendance was less than five percent, guys, <laughs> and my poster was still there. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it was there. It was because of this club only, to be very honest. So I am still asking you. I. I With all due respect, this was something which was very professional. I am expecting a little more. Any question that you have, yeah. Sure, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As in? Uh, I, I, I have no bank, no startup bank, no consulting bank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I joined this club because I wanted to participate. The other founding member is doing a MBA from N M I N S. We had four people in the founding team, and then Mala who subsequently became the vice president, so actually five people. Uh, one of them is doing masters. One of them is working with Agama Investment Management Fund in Mumbai. Mala is doing hedge fund and private equity. We don't have a person, I think, working in startups as of now. But as I said, uh, you would have listened to my speech, in which there were three pointers: one was professional development. In terms of becoming design oriented, uh, having the ability to work with teams, any teams out there, even if you want to join a hobby, like something you're passionate about, 
tell again you have you have to have the ability to communicate you have the ability to express your thoughts so that again will help uh, apart from that like uh, the mentor uh, we have one mentor uh, with us right now and uh, ultimately you will figure out your career path working here and startup you will be working with corporate so ultimately you will figure out what you want to do and therefore uh, this is something which helps you uh, clear up your own doubts right so uh, that is something like i said it's going to be a very difficult process but since you are i think i might uh, yeah, help you with one round right <laughs> Uh, any other person even wants to ask any question here? Yeah. What makes the stuff different from other? What makes the water That's a great question. I have, I like to sell myself on this. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, it's a very good question. It's very simple. Uh, am I audible or should I? Yeah. I don't trust you. <laughs> so uh, it's so uh, it's very simple that. Uh, I'm not going to name any society per se, but there are societies which uh, you must have attended orientation of. So there are societies in this college which have been uh, like who have been working on the same project for last four years. When I was there, they were working on the same project. I'm not there, they are still working on the same project. They're just inflating their numbers. And I'm not going to name any society. <laughs> yeah. And then there are clubs who are organizing one or two annual events, and that's it. They are just uh, like organizing annual events, conducting seminars, webinars, and that's all they do. And then they claim to be the biggest in the college. But to be very honest, what we do here is we work with a consulting project generally lasts from three to six months. So if you're working with a club like for three years, uh, so in these three years, you'll at least have experience of working with 10 projects. And that is something which you can obviously gonna help you with all the interviews all the like your cv will be shortlisted firstly uh we have people here uh, from the club i don't know if asta is here or not but uh this year all the people who were sitting from our uh, is the biggest uh right uh, okay. is the biggest uh, like is the best placement that comes here last year i was the only one that uh, who was selected for press vista and shalika uh last year is co-president and is also working in press vista She's not in our college, like she wasn't in our college. This year also, all the three girls that were selected for Tres Vista were part of the consulting club. Uh, people sitting for uh, recruitment this year, all the people, like all the seniors, your seniors, who were sitting for recruitment this year have gotten placed into Genpac, EY, and KPMG. So if you worry about your future, if you think you want to secure a job, this is the place for you. Uh, if I talk about startups, like uh, like startup culture is something which is growing in India, you all might be interested in the startup thing. So that is also something which the club can help you with. Like I said, that we have worked with a uh, startup founder who was featured on Shark Tank. So that is a very big thing. There were only 165 companies who were shortlisted for Shark Tank, and we were like like we had the opportunity to work with one. So we went, uh, I think there was a picture also here uh, where I went for a meeting and we had a conversation with her and the kind of knowledge that I gained from that conversation, it was amazing. Then we have our mentors like Hitesh mentioned and they are working in all these big organizations, uh, EY, KPMG, Dane. So if you want to get into consulting, this is the place for you. If you want to get into finance, this is the place for you. These are the two of the most lucrative players out there. And the most high, the highest pain. Do you know how much uh, a start like a pressure, a finance pressure on in US if you ever wish to go there? It's one lakh dollar from an average college. Similarly, consulting also, the one lakh dollar. In India, it's, it's less comparatively, but Accenture pays 11 lakh to a pressure. That gives you an idea. If you're joining DCG or way in the structure college, you can expect a package of around six packages of around eight to ten LPA. So that's that's really good compared to the placements that Mother Stock uh, which the housing offers. Uh, it offers press place for seven point five overall package. Yeah. In fact comes for four lakh 
RBC and Indian EY also respectively come for 3.5 CBT. So while in the consulting club and if you can manage your uh, placement, not from the placement still but through the career portal, you get an edge of securing your own partner. Insha also be doing all well that. Insha hmm? also be doing all well that. Yeah, be sure also. So, uh, considering that we don't have a 180 DC in the cl uh, in the college, and if you see the past, uh, like uh, if you see the past recruitment of all these companies that Kitesh just mentioned, they are recruiting from 180 DCs of SRTCs and everything. So this is an opportunity. Uh, this is a very big opportunity for you all, and I just wish you all the best. And I think if you'll ever have doubts since you attended this orientation, you can follow both of us on LinkedIn, and we'll always be there to help you. Yeah, sure, go ahead. I think Bangalore is pretty clear that TCG is better than other varieties of Bayaji. But how is TCG better than other TCGs of other varieties? Because there are no other TCGs. <laughs> 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 there are no other TCGs. I'm so sorry. Like to recommend that uh, you also I'm actually like Riyad. I that's a very like sarcastic answer from my side, but I'll tell you, my sister is working with one eighty DC uh <laughs> I guess I don't remember her college. And they are working on this, like they don't have a project yet. And they have been there for two years. What they are doing is they are conducting sessions. They are uh, obviously helping their members upskill, but they don't have a very good project yet. Like they haven't worked with Shark Tank or they haven't worked with Piramal Foundation. Piramal Foundation was a first project. You know, Piramal is an MNC. Is an MNC. I don't know how many of you out there know this, but Piraman is an MNC and it was a first project. So what we have achieved in, in these two years is something which most of the clubs or most of the societies haven't been able to achieve in 10 years also, to be very honest. And this is something which is going to be, uh, which is going to grow here with or without you. And I'm pretty sure about that because there are people who are working day and night uh, to take this stuff to even greater heights. So, uh, if you want to be part of the grow journey, sure, go ahead, do your interviews with utmost seriousness. But if you will, if you want to be slacking, if you think that this is just another college society and you're not going to gain anything out of this, it's your loss to be very honest. And if I talk about the unofficial culture also, we have a culture of working hard with fighting harder. And this is what I think uh, we have had been fostering over the last two years. I think after every like official meet, we have been to an unofficial place. Like either we are partying or you, or either we will sit at Menti also. But we will do something just to be uh, with the team members. And ultimately, after two years, that you will realize. On like I have a very busy week, Monday to Friday. I have a very busy week, but I make sure that I meet these guys on Saturday, and we meet every Saturday. Why? Because now they are part of my family. They are not someone who I knew in the college days. To be very honest. I made all of them. I can show you the pictures if you wish to. Uh, I created a reel also, and I'm not a reel person, but I created a reel for this particular stuff. Why? Because I love all these people. So, if you think that you want to gain a lot of good friends, if you want to make good college friends, if you uh, want to excel in your career, this is the place for you. I'm not going to say a lot of things about this club, like I said, because it has already been said, we have a presentation, we must have showed you a lot of numbers, we must have showed you, we must have tried to impress you with a lot of projects, right? But that is not something which I am going to say, because I for a fact know that this is something that you should buy for yourself, and we shouldn't be here selling this. Because I know this is going to be something which is going to help all these guys, I have been helping all these guys, they have been doing what they love to, uh, it's, uh, Ishita here loves to be in tech. She is working in tech. She was working in tech. She is now the general advisory. Uh, this guy here is in supply chain management. So he got an opportunity with Flipkart recently. And uh, it's a very big opportunity. He is scoring 95% on a daily basis and he still says Because however I want to get into IIM and so on. So these are some people, few of the people who are very big goals and if you are surrounded by such people, obviously they are going to help you. We are not just here drinking and partying, but we have also, like we also have goals. And if you are surrounded by such people who are goal oriented, it's going to help you. And uh, I not, like, like I said, I am not going to talk about myself. There is nothing to talk about me. Uh, 
uh, if you want to say, I'm, I'm not part of the club anymore. I was, I, if I would have been, I would have talked about myself, what I have been doing. But this is an opportunity for me to talk about these guys who have been working pretty hard for the last two years. Uh, they have been work, there, there have been nights where they have worked for two, like two or three years. So I have, I have been on calls for at least 3, 3, 30. And this was just for an Instagram post. So that is the kind of seriousness seriousness that is there in the club. So if you think that this is just another club and we'll join and we won't follow the deadlines, no, that's not going to happen. If you are here, you're going to be working under pressure. And trust me, pressure is privilege. Right? Pressure is a privilege and you're not going to get this opportunity every in every society. Because college societies have, uh, and I'm going to be uh, like, like I said, I'm brutally honest. College societies have lost their value in these past two years. Uh, because of COVID-19 and I made for a time when I come to get it, to be very honest. So, not just, this is not just another society, but this will help you with this internship as well. And internship is a very big thing because you get to uh, network with a lot of corporates, right? And networking with corporates is very important when you're just part of, a, like, you're just a grad, like a fresher, because a lot of people convert their internships into full-time jobs. So if you're working here, you want to be. I remember last year one of our clients said that he wants to recruit a few of us in his team. So that is the kind of opportunity that you will be exposed to. But yeah, I hope that answers the question why are we better than the other consulting clubs or 180 EPs? There aren't any, uh, like a lot of consulting clubs, but there are 180 EPs. So read about them. Uh, we see all the consulting clubs. Consulting one and one on ATDC. I think you are only like major details in other aspects of consulting. Like, uh, we have our project with NGO also. Yeah, so yeah. We, we, we are into we, we project. Yeah, we have a management consulting thing. Last year, I remember we were working on uh, cost with one of the projects. So, yeah, it's something which we do with NGO. Like, uh, we are in college. So, yeah, 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 we are in college. I paid 50,000 and they were done. So, yeah. Uh, I would say, you know, between us, you will see Alan so pretty quickly. If I like your person, yeah, I think I like your person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, for sure. Your name? Sure. So, the people who are. I also have a Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wants to pay or like they'll never because they'll just say that okay we'll figure out something else or 
because ultimately the most they also know that the uh, the revenue that these companies, the telecom companies are generating, are through these towers only. And if they stop putting up these towers, or if they don't upgrade their technology, boy, they'll be gone. They'll be gone the next day. So they know that this uh, this is something that they can leverage, and they're never gonna pay for it. Thank you. 
ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਇਟ ਯੂ ਡੋ ਆਫਟਰ ਯੂ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਆਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਕਲੱਬ ਓਨ ਦਿਸ ਟੋਪਿਕ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਆਊਟ ਟੂ ਕੈਨ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਬੀ ਟੋਕ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਆਈ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਬਟ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਵਿਚ ਦਿਸ ਕਲੱਬ ਕਾਸ ਕੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਯਰ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਕੰਸਲਟਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਐਕਸਪਰਟ ਸਟੇਜ ਹੈ ਆਈ ਹੈਡ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਅਪ ਆਨ ਐ ਨੈਵਰ ਕੰਸਿਡਰਡ ਬਿਕਾਸ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਵਿਚ ਦਿਸ ਕਲੱਬ ਹੈਲਪ ਮੀ ਬਟ ਇਨ ਐਨ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਟ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟ ਐ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਟੂ ਕੰਸਲਟਿੰਗ ਦੈਨ ਓਨਲੀ ਨਾਟ ਦਿਸ ਕਲੱਬ consulting and like consulting is something which is hold together a different uh a different career it's a very lucrative one it's a very high paying one and it's something which requires a lot of work so if you have been like high school interactive uh job in a consulting world then only you can do it yeah we have started so uh, basically i tell you how we have started so it's something like when you are a consultant and be start up with the corporate you are consulting so you have your own problem problem that they don't want to deal with themselves right they are like for me uh, i was working on a lot of things right so there are few things that i have to uh figure out myself right like i want to have to handle it so or maybe they are stuck right like last year i remember they were stuck and you were but i can't deal with that so they want that they want to do a lot of things and they want to tap the new market So they came to us. They wanted to do a project. How can we tap into the market? What can we do? And how can we increase our revenue? So we prepared a revenue strategy, and that is how uh, we did this project. So that is how we did it. We had to do strategizing, and then monitoring the strategy. How are they implementing the strategy? And after that, we also had to write where was the exact where was the last time that we did it. So we had to tackle those last. Right? Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, one of the biggest achievements that we had was they had this product at Uttar and sales went through the roof after the consultation. Like after the consultation, so uh, the number was really good. I think they required a sales of one thousand to Uttar, and by Uttar was around one hundred. Thank you very much. So this is actually something that we are creating in terms of and thinking in terms of qualitative or quantitative. Like the numbers are something which must have been there. I wasn't there at that time, but yeah. So I think I'm going to conclude now. Thank you so much. All the best for your recruitment process and the ones who actually dare to ask the question. Obviously, I, I'm not going to go back out uh, on my promise. I'm going to end with. This is the proof of God. Yeah, sure. Thank you for the great talking to you. And uh, yeah, all the best, guys. All the best. Thank you all for the great talking to you. I'm delighted to call one of our mentors, Mr. Tushar Patel, who is with us today. He is currently employed with KPMG as a consultant, and his expertise in the, is in the field of internal audit, financial services, and corporate strategy. With more than six years of experience, he has worked with EY and Accenture. I would like uh, Ishita to come on stage and serve so that she can present you with a token of gratitude. Tons of tons of work around you. 
So I I saw that figure when uh, and the uh, guy before me was telling me telling you guys that the starting package of Accenture is a level up. So it's not it's it's less than that. But yes, it's uh, it's a high paying job. And uh, the figures which shown in your on 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 your uh, on your screen was uh, lying to you. It's way more than that. Average management consulting salary is way more than that. So, and it depends on the company in your uh, your employed as well. So, if we KPMG, Strategy, McKinsey, Baines, Etikani, any any. So, it, it's it depends which scheme you are selecting. Be it HR, finance, or marketing, anything, branding. So. I don't know uh, what your background. Everybody has a different background. That guy was uh, from a hedge fund, so he's he probably he is doing core finance. That's that's really good. So uh, I'm from uh, basically risk and management consulting in merger and acquisitions. So it's basically what we do is uh, we analyze the problem when a company enter into a deal with the, another company, either to acquire. Uh, them wholly or a part of them or wanted to separate apart from themselves. So, and uh, previously I was part of risk consulting as well. I can share the the incident which happened with me on my first day of job in a consulting firm. So, and how people react, how do people, uh, you know, rag you in consulting. It's just like uh, they know you don't know anything about what, uh, what is going on around you. So there was a uh, manager on the first day. He comes to me and he says that uh, this is the Excel and uh, you have to analyze this uh, these figures and data and come up with me uh, queries like, uh, like uh, the person before me is uh, asking for questions from you, everybody. So it's just like he, he told me that uh, come up with certain good questions. So I was analyzing that Excel. I don't know what this Excel was. So I don't have any idea. That was on the first day. So I, I, I spent like six hours on that particular Excel. Six hours. And then uh, every minute, I was thinking what, what to do with it. And uh, whenever I uh, reached out to that manager and uh, his boss, I don't understand what it is. He said, you have to come with, uh, with a question. So I was an uh, analyst, and uh, my senior was an associate consultant. She was going to the body for a party next day, next month. So and she was looking at me very pityingly, and she said she knows what is going on, and uh, that I don't know what what it is. This was my first day. So uh, at uh, seven, so I started analyzing that Excel at nine a.m. and at seven I reached out to her. 7 p.m. and of course I need to go home. <laughs> so she said, did you analyze that Excel? So I said, uh, yes. So are you going through that Excel back and forth for must this many hours? I said, yes. I mean, that Excel is rubbish. You don't have to go through this Excel. We don't work on that particular Excel. And I said, I mean, I uh, just go to that manager and uh, ask that you, uh, you understand it and fix just risk metrics. So I just uh, repeat these words in front of the manager and let me go. And then I know that uh, that project was, uh, I don't know if people know or not, uh, there's a brand called uh, Under Armour. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. a newest brand. So that was uh, the one, that was our client. So I, I employed on that particular project I, because that manager likes me. And uh, he says that, uh, and after that, for every new recruit on that particular project, I present that Excel in front of them and uh, tell them to analyze it. So that's how it is. It's just understanding the problem and uh, not most of the time you don't understand the problem. You just have to say the words which the client wants you to hear. That was the lesson on uh, on that particular task. That what the manager want to hear. So nobody will give you the sensitive data on your first meet. That uh, you people have worked on revenue strategies, which is a very big term. I never worked on a revenue strategy, to be very honest. I worked on a, a strategy which is uh, 
reducing the cost for it uh, so that we can maximize the profit. Uh, we eliminate the people uh, from uh, costing it. Like we just tell our client to fire some people in, in uh, due to reduce the cost. That's what we do, to be very honest. We tell them uh, if you reduce uh, these much of offices, number of offices, and uh, tell them to uh, you know, keep on doing what they're doing. That's what we do. So this is how it is. If you if you have any questions, if you have anything for consulting, counseling, there are multiple companies offering consulting services. I would suggest not to go for the big companies in your target, in initial stages of your target. Go for the small companies. Because the big companies ask you to work on uh, certain things which doesn't give you much learning. Small companies give you learning. Teach you things. If anybody have any question you can ask me. <laughs> uh, so he has the question. He has something. When we graduate from the college, we learn managing skills, many skills. But when we go for jobs, there we uh, our degree matters or our skill matters. What kind of job you are Whatever the job is. Whatever the job is. So first, you have to understand what you can learn. I did my internship in Hong Kong. So there was a there was a school called Hong Kong Young Artist Academy. It was an international school over there. So when I was doing that, I was uh, dealing with investors and uh, normal guys who, who, who all are English speaking because Hong Kong is divided English speaking and then Cantonese speaking people. So I was working on the English. I came to uh, know that I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a PR. I, I don't want to uh, deal with media professionals. Into it. A few minutes, how you react to the push. Sometimes you sometimes you lie on your CV. That's how it is. That's the reality. Like you said, that I had a girlfriend back then. That's how. 
Yeah, that's that's very true. I think, like uh, Tushar has said that uh, attending classes is going to add a lot of value by working or working in such societies, uh, hanging out with friends, having girlfriends. It's all about like that. It's just like uh, how how well you spend your time. Right. It's not about jobs. It's just about how you spend your money. Right. On things. What makes you happy? Right. It's just like I I have friends working in consulting. Myself, I work for fifteen hours a day. Right. It's not it's not a case like nine to five. You you have a nine to five no, job. I start I start at eight thirty. I sometimes I end at two two in the morning. Yeah. It happens. It happens. Sometimes it happens like I started at nine and I I'm ending my day at eleven eleven a.m. Right. That also happens. So that happens. That it's happens. part of life. It's part of consulting. Working with the expert, I have the same experience. I work for twelve hours on daily basis. Yeah. That's how it is. It's not going to be easy, but yeah, you know, you, you will go through it if you want to do, if you want to do something. But, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I think it was wonderful hearing you. Now I would like to call up from this Vodafone, these companies are providing services of telecommunication companies. So they also have, a, uh, you know, they are providing you internet. They are providing you internet on your mobile, on your TV. It's just a service. We are using their platform, not platform, they are using internet. So that's how it is. We are two different things, two different genres. Why should they pay? We are actually shipping. Why should they pay? They can, they can use Starnet. And we are not asking those companies. Uh, companies like Starnet or any other company which is like one name, they are asking for streaming services. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, the most awaited movement has finally come. As you all were informed in the group, we have been working on the launch of the official website of our club. I would like Aditya Khanna to come on stage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 